Border Radio was like a magnet for broadcasting and entertaining weirdos. You had Raja Rayboyd, the psychic, who pulled into town driving his car blindfolded. That's how psychic he was. They were the first ones to let preachers on the air ask for money. You had Rose Dawn, the blondined uplifter, and she would read fortunes. You had the diamond man who sold genuine simulated diamonds for one dollar. They sold medicines or elixirs. Another product was autographed pictures of Jesus Christ. In addition, you had musicians. You had Bob Wills, the father of Western Swing, going down there selling hillbilly flour. You had yodeling cowboys and singing cowboys. Cowboy Slim Reinhardt sold songbooks for a dollar a holler. They were the first ones to really popularize country music to allow music that wasn't kind of high tone and high class to be on the air. Let me introduce you to the original Carter family. A.P., Sarah, Maybell, Jeanette, Helen, June, and Anita. Thank you, Brother Bill, thank you. Our beginning number will be the Cannonball Blues. The Carter family were there at the height of the power of XCRA, 1938 and 1939 seasons. All listen to the train coming down the line. And Dr. Brinkley actually pays them $75 a week to perform. So they are the royalty on the border radio station because they don't have to pull the mail. They're getting paid. The first time I heard the Carter family was on border radio, and I thought it was wonderful music. He actually got the signal from XERV in Texas and heard uh, Little June Carter, you know, when she was a preteen. The Carter kids were the child stars of the era, really. 